Natasha and I have always had these crazy ideas of what would make a perfect dessert and today we are meeting a pastry expert and we're gonna tell him about our ideas and see which one he prefers. Okay, so my dessert, Summer Loving, um, is a dessert that has a caramel biscuit base and then on top of that I'll have this coconut milk ganache and then just to give it that summery glow I'll be adding some pineapple jam and finally I'll be um, garnishing it with some coconut flakes and so this is what I have in mind. On the bottom we have a fried dough that uh, you will dip in chocolate that will act as the base. Um, on top I'm going to layer some caramelized pears and finish it off with almond cream that using a torch I'm going to toast the very top just so it has that really nice um, marshmallow smell on the top. Hit it, boys. Get your munchies on because you're watching Taste Buds. Alright, I'm Natasha from Taste Buds and now I'm going to go check out my first ever patisserie factory. Let's go! This is Gail, art director of Sweet Fashion House, a designer dessert boutique in Hong Kong. With a background in culinary school, he found himself more interested in desserts when he filled in for a co-worker on the other side of the kitchen. So what's the first thing we're going to do? Alors for the, the first thing we will do is that will be the dough. We okay. call it uh, the pâte à choux. Mm -hmm. And for this one I use some flour, some milk, water, salt, sugar and uh, eggs. The texture needs to be, to be good and to have a nice development. Me, I, I prepare always the dough and I put it in the fridge and I pipe when it's cold. And even after overnight it's even better. Because the texture is really more smooth and more creamy. So how did this dessert come to be? The Paris Hong Kong dessert is Gail's take on a traditional French pastry, Paris Brest. Paris Brest was a bicycle tour that started in 1891 between the two cities, Paris and Brest. And after the races, the wheels from the bikes were usually wrecked. Because the pastry component is not perfectly round, people named it after the destroyed bicycle wheels. Uh, we call it a ganache montée, okay, it's a kind of whipping cream. This one I use some condensed milk. I infuse all the night some black tea in powder inside. Then uh, I use also some uh, sugar like glucose and inverted sugar. And uh, some white chocolate and I finish with the cream, the fresh cream. The next uh, recipe, that was a mango, uh, mango and uh, orange, uh, blood orange jam. For this it's very simple, I use just some fresh mango cut in small pieces, uh, orange juice, a bit of sugar, some vanilla for the taste, and also um, some gelatin at the end just to give some texture. Okay. We call it like chouchou, uh, when you caramelize this, we call it chouchou and we make the praline after with this. Praline, this is kind of paste when you mix everything. And I always, you know, you know, when you have a range of dessert, you need to find, you need to make every people happy. And there is some chocolate lover, some fruit lover, and you need to find a nice combination of all of this. Remember that little competition we had in the beginning? Well, now Gail's ready to tell us whose dessert is better. Uh, it's very difficult for me to choose. Because the first one looks a little bit more work, more ingredients, more work on this one. But the second one, it looks like really like something you want to just take it and eat it so quickly. And maybe my choice will, will go for the second one. 